Good day, everybody. It's so good to be with you again. I'm Pastor Matthew Cullis. I'm here at Word of Faith Christian Center. And I want to tell you today that it pays to obey. Today, it pays to obey. In Luke chapter 5, there's this moment where Peter's in his boat. He was a fisherman and he's in his boat and he's been fishing all night through. He's had the night shift. He's been going all day and he has caught nothing. And Jesus comes along to Peter to the boat and says, throw your net on the other side. Now, let's just track back a little bit. I'm sure a lot of you, like me, if you've been working a whole day, you've had those moments of frustration and somebody comes along and says, oh, just try this. And what do we do? We get frustrated. We're like, you don't know what I've been going through. <laughs> and I'm sure Peter was going through the same thing. But however, he says these words. He says, Lord, Jesus, I've been toiling all night. We've been going through the night, through the day. We've caught absolutely nothing. There surely is nothing out there. So he's probably thinking to himself, how about casting the net? Are we gonna, is this going to change anything? But he says these words, and this for me was the powerful, most powerful statement in the whole story. He says these words in Luke chapter 5. He says this, he says, Jesus, but because you say so, I will do it. Well, the story afterwards is that the boat was overflowing so much that his shipping, his fishing business went into liquidation. Yeah, literally, it went. The, they say the boat actually started drowning with the amount of fish. Now, I'm just joking. They didn't go into actual liquidation. That's just to see what I did there. But you see, when you obey, you see the blessing. So often we try to do things in our own strength, our own experience. We take our previous experience. And throughout the Bible, you, we see stories of how people try to accomplish things and get into their promised blessing by their own hands and ideas. But God sometimes has got some of the most simplest, easiest ideas, but if we just obey. The other thing obedience does is it brings protection. I'll never forget when my daughter Ella, we were at the shopping center and they had those weird doors. I totally dislike them. Those ones where you go, they turn around, they spin around, but only once you're in will it start turning around. And I was paying for my parking ticket to leave the parking lot. And as I'm standing by the machine, I said to my daughter and my son, I said, stay with me. Well, while I'm trying to sort out change and get everything going, my daughter, without me knowing, had gone through the door and she was about three years old. She was now on the road outside the shopping building. You see, when my daughter did that, I couldn't run because those doors don't just slide open. It, you can't just barge through the doors. The minute she left my side, she left the protection. I, if something had happened, I would not have been able to get to her in time. Very often the stuff we experience and wonder, God, why didn't you protect me from this or that, is very often the result of our own not listening to God's instruction. So I wanna encourage you today, be obedient read the word and listen to the people God has placed in your life to speak into your life. And as you obey, it will pay.